Hello, I'm Elaine Stevens and I want to welcome you to Artbeat. Well, are you ready to be uplifted and inspired? We're going to take you on an enchanting journey to art and soul. Welcome to Art Beat. I'm your host, Elaine Stevens. Do stay with us. We'll be right back right after this message. And we're back with Art Beat, where Art Beat today is meeting Art and Soul right here on Government Street, one of my favorite stores in Ocean Springs. Tori Davidson, such a pleasure to have you. Well, thanks for being here. I was telling Tori earlier that I'm like a hyperactive child uh, along the lines of being overly stimulated in this magnificent setting. There's so much beauty here, and especially right now during the holiday season. Yeah. We, we love this time of year. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about the history of how you got this beautiful store started. Um, it's just a, a passion. Decorating has been a passion of mine since I was a child. And um, it was just, a, I felt there was a need for this type of shop in downtown Ocean Springs. And so we opened in 2001. Mm -hmm. And it's been really good for the this first nine years. Well, I have to tell you that any time I feel a little bit isolated from the world. I come in here and I look around and I see the warmth of home right here in this store. And you've done a magnificent job in all that you have purchased for the store. So do tell us about some of your favorite favorite objects that we're standing beside right now. Everything is a favorite. Everything. Well, that's how and I that's, feel about and, your well, store. Well, <laughs> people, people ask us all the time. They're like, you go to market uh -huh. and how do you pick this stuff? Isn't it overwhelming to pick it out? Yeah. If I wouldn't have it in my own home, we're not going to have it in the shop. Well, you know, you and come in, so there's just vibrant it. color and, and, and the textures and the fabrics of everything. I mean, and the way everything is, is displayed is really magnificent. I mean, when you come in, you see things set up the way you would like to see it set up in your home. It makes me want to throw everything out and start all over again. We can help you with that. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll be there to do your house for well, you. I mean, just a, an unusual type of print like this. Well, it's fun. It is. And life is too short to not have fun. It you is. You gotta have fun with everything around you. And the entire store is, is just like that. I mean, there's a, an array of different periods and styles in here, wouldn't you say? It's called eclectic. Mm -hmm. And that way, it's, it's, uh, it's a good way to be these days because people like different kind of styles. Well, they say, well, I like this, but then I like this. I like something modern, but then I like something that is contemporary or Victorian. Well, now you can do any of it, and they call it eclectic. So you can mix and match any kind of textures or styles, and it becomes, it just makes your home become a reflection of you instead of just one certain kind of a, of a style. It, it truly does, and mm -hmm. I mean, I, what I notice in here is that there's, there literally is a world of art in here. I mean, it looks like it came from all over the world. Right, right. You know. So you can come in and buy three or four things and it doesn't look like you went to the same place no, no, no. and bought them all. It looks like you mm -hmm. actually traveled to the West Indies or something. Yeah, <laughs> you got yeah. it yourself there. But um, I'm looking at this amazing uh, painting up above here and uh, of the horses. Do you, do you know anything about that? It is, it's just a print. But it's, it's a large print, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. And I, I like the abstractness of it. You know it's horses, but it's not screaming horses. You don't have to yeah. be a cowboy to have this in your house. Yeah. You know, just have to like something that's kind of cool and different. And obviously in the front part of the store, there are doggies, my favorite. So there was, I mean, there's animals and just wonderful, like I said, many, many textures here. Well, we're going to take a little bit of a tour through Art and Soul. We're going to go into the next room and take a look at some of the things there. So why don't you follow us? Well, I promised you a world of enchantment here at RM Soul, and I, the minute I walked in, I was enchanted with this very piece, and of course I thought it was just a beautiful piece of wooden and metal sculpture, but it is in truth a lamp. Isn't it fabulous? And there's fabulous? a little bit of a story behind it. Well, it's it. green. Yeah. It's all made out of natural plant fibers, renewable resources, so the company, it's NG is the, the name of the company, and they pride themselves on um, having green products. And if you want it, you better come get it because I think I'm going to buy it. We'll wrap it's it up It's just for you. absolutely gorgeous. Well, it has some sister lamps with it. Right. Uh, yeah, there's, there's one right back here. Yeah. 
This here, we have a, a, a sister lamp to it made out of some different fibers, but very cool just as well. It is, and it looks like a bit of a spider web that's encircling the cylinder with some black wrought iron around it. Very contemporary. Very contemporary. Yeah. And again, that's what I love about Art and Soul. There's a mixture of contemporary with traditional. Of course, anytime there's a book around, I have to touch it. But this is, in truth, not a real book. But you look, see? it looks like an old. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It looks like some in my collection, actually. Beautiful, beautiful items. Well, I know that um, when you go to market, I mean, does it is it contingent on what kind of mood you're in as to what you buy? Or? No, if we love it, we buy it. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful to be able if to If we do love that? it, we buy it. <laughs> it. It doesn't matter if the, the salesman there says, oh, this is a great product, this is such a good seller. Sorry, we don't like it. Yeah. We have to love it. You have to love it to sell it. Well, I don't think I've ever seen the same thing twice here. I mean, of course, there is a world of artwork, but the lighting itself that you've done in here and the mood that Tori and Sheila have set in Art and Soul is amazing. I don't know if you can hear this great jazz in the background, but it, it actually makes you feel like you want to buy something wonderful. Stay longer, too. <laughs> makes you want to stay, stay longer. longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see, I see some wooden creatures over here that look like they came straight out of the jungle. Shall we take a look at those? Sure. Okay, we're going to take a walk over okay. here. So we're taking a look at some really beautifully carved wooden giraffes. Aren't they different? Oh my They're goodness. Very... I wonder if I put one on a leash what would happen. I think you'd probably just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> See how my dogs would like it at home. My four. Yeah. But well, they look really cool like with a do. tree. If you've got a tree in the corner and then you maybe put the giraffes behind them when you're decorating, then it's unexpected. It's not like in your face. You've like there's a giraffe behind that tree. So it just kind of gives you a little a little extra something to make you smile. Well, the thing about Art and Soul that we have to remind everyone about is that it's more than a gift shop. It's more than a place where you come and just purchase items at random for your home. Tori and Sheila actually go into your home and they do interior decorating. So we're going to talk a little bit about some of those trends and maybe some of the colors and maybe some of the homes that you've, you've decorated in the past. Right after we take this break, what do you think? Sounds good to me. When we come back. We'll be right back with more Art Beat right after this. Back with more Art Beat. We're here with Tori Davidson, the owner of Art and Soul in Ocean Springs. And I'm holding what I see is a very popular type of art form is the twi what I call twig art. Yes, it's just, you know, again, natural. People are going towards greener things, mm -hmm. natural. They just like it, and they blend well with anything. And um, I just thought he was just precious, made he out is. of his little twigs. And, and this is a piece of driftwood. Well, I see that. And mm -hmm. I know that uh, Tori was saying that you don't really actually buy local artists so much because this really keeps the price points down and right. much makes it much more affordable when people come in to redecorate. Mm -hmm. It does. Um, we do have some great shops in Ocean Springs that do sell local, original pieces of art. And then we're, we're doing something a little bit different. And um, that way you can come in and instead of spending $5,000 on a piece of art or two pieces of art, you can spend $5,000 and have your entire room decorated. Well, that's what I noticed. There's, there's leather chairs, which we've seen, and plush pillows and all that. And then I, I came into this smaller room, which there are many rooms here in Art and Soul, and the smaller room features a lot of what is near and dear to us, especially at the holiday season, and that is frames. Have, like picture frames are now part of decorating. They are, and you you know, used to you, you would have a, a small frame and the picture was what spoke. Well now, yeah, from the, frame, <laughs> the frame speaks as well as the yeah, photograph. Yeah, I mean, yeah. most people mm -hmm. would go out and, and, and buy something that uh, was a very minimalist looking type of frame to showcase the photograph. But take for example this beautiful piece, and it, it, it's priced very reasonably, yes. but it looks like it was handmade or possibly even an heirloom piece. Right, the chunky molding. Oh, I love yeah. it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then there's uh, this one here that has a little bit of a jewel thing going on. Those are fun. Th it is. Those and are fun to add a little. You got to add a little sparkle in your room somewhere. Absolutely. And some people might not want a lot, so you can have just a. Just it is. I mean, it's just an array of things. And of course, one of my favorite things, and not too many people know this, but I'm going to announce it now, I collect boxes. I love little boxes and different kinds of things like that. And this was one of my favorites that I saw in here, but I noticed you have some larger ones, which I use at home too to decorate. I love so. boxes. They're great this for is remote controls. Up, <laughs> now, here we go. Okay. And actually, you can um, 
give a put a bottle of wine in there and give us it a gift. Oh, no, that's mm -hmm. an idea. That's beautiful. I mean, boxes do not seem to go out of style when they it comes never do. to decorating. Well, plus they, they help your clutter. If you've got a husband that has a bunch of junk on his desk, if you get him a box, he'll put his stuff on the desk and put it in the box and it doesn't look so... I'll take 20 of those because that's what it's going to take to clear up the clutter in my house. But I like the way you stack the boxes and that you use them for candle stands. And I didn't know I was doing the right thing by decorating like that, but apparently it's pretty much a chic thing to do. It is. It is. Yeah. Something so. different than a table if you've got just a little bit of space. You know, we pretty much use them out of necessity around here because we have so much stuff that we have to find a home for. But they do, they look good, well, stacked in corners. It's beautiful. And we're going to do a little bit of a photo journal tour with the music and take people around before we do our next segment. Okay. But before we do that, I want to ask you a question. I know, having been raised during the 60s, you know, there were certain things during decorating mm -hmm. that you did, like all those weird-looking lamps, the lava lamps and all that sort of thing. Is there a trend now that you see, or are people pretty much free to do what they want? Pretty much free to do, but you know those 60s lamps, yeah. the big ones, they're, they're kind of coming back. Not the lava lamps so much, right, but right. The, the really nice, chunky bottom lamps right, yeah. and the big drum shades, those are all really hot right now. That's, that's very, you know, and when we go in to do a home, we always, um, we'll bring them in, because a customer might come in and they're like, ooh, that lamp's a little far out for me. But when we take it in the home and we place it, wow. then they're like, I would have never chosen that lamp. It looks great. So so what is the process when people want to decorate with you? What do they do? Exactly? Well, well, we'll just talk with the client and see what, what it is they're wanting to do. If they're wanting to do um, one room or the whole house, mm -hmm. and then we'll go to the house and take a look at it and then maybe go back in about two weeks and they're, they're not going to be there. They're, we, we don't want them there because they don't really understand the process. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, oh, I don't, I don't think I'm going to like that piece of art. Well, you've got to see the whole picture. So that's why we don't allow them to be there. Wow. It's like and extreme makeover home Well, edition. on a smaller budget. <laughs> on a smaller scale. <laughs> and then when we, when we go in and we do the house, then they come home. And um, we don't charge for this service. You do not charge We do for not charge service. for this service because we're taking everything from here and we're doing it. And then if Remarkable. you, it, when you come home, if you love everything, that's fabulous. If you say, well, I like this, but I'm not that crazy about that, then we'll work with you until we find something to replace that that you like. It's a very painless process, and people are happy, happy. Be when we're I finished. can imagine. They are very happy. Well, yeah. if you want a new look for your holiday season, this is the place to come at Art and Soul. Or any Street. season. Mm -hmm. Well, at any season, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, now, do you try to match up the personality of those people with some of the things that are happening in your store? We do try. Well, first of all, they've come in here and they love the shop. Mm -hmm. So if we know they love the shop, like, we think it would be easy to do you because we know you love everything in here. <laughs> yes, I do. And then, As Phil says, I buy out every store that we then do that's a show okay. So, that's yeah. okay. So then when um, they'll say, well, I have some things, but I just don't, I like them, but I don't know what to do with them. Right. Well, then we mix their things that they've had mm -hmm. with a few new things. And you take three of the things that they've owned and they didn't know what to do with them, and you put one new thing with it. It just becomes well, it just becomes great all over again. That is fabulous, and that is fabulous. Look at him. You know, I just <laughs> he's noticed talking. Him. He is talking. <laughs> he he wants attention. to be on camera. Well, he's amazing. I think we're going to take uh, before we do the holiday exhibit. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a little bit of a trip into the next room okay. and show everybody that. So we'll be back right after this message. While well, you're back with more art, beat my guest, Tori Davidson, but so much happens during a commercial break. We can't even talk about it, can we? <laughs> <laughs> it's like everywhere we go with art beat, we meet someone from our past uh, experiences here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. It's just, we're very connected, our families are, through the Torontos and through Gus Stevens, and it's just a wonderful experience here today. Not just what you have here, but what's in your heart. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and the store is well named, and I thank you for that. I came upon this beautiful little object because I'm drawn to little vases like this and of course I immediately thought it was sheer water and of course the price would be extravagantly expensive but it's not. It's, it's only cute, four dollars. It? Mm -hmm. So you see you can actually have some of those things in your home that you long for from the museum type collections and come right here to Art and Soul and, and really decorate your home beautifully. Well if you're on a budget and you really want to get somebody something special I mean, how cute is that? I know, it's absolutely, and just put a little rose in it and it's, a little it's memento. It's precious, like it, you know, so if you're on a budget, you can come to 
Ocean Absolutely. Springs and come to Art and Soul also. Well, I noticed that you have a lot of the glassware, and especially in this room, and the colored glass used to be very popular back in the 70s, you know, remember well, those it, really bright colors? And, yeah, it all comes back and around. And it all comes back, mm -hmm. and it's just really beautiful, and that's a different assortment of bottles that I see Those there. are all hand-blown. They're just really different. Um, just brings back so much life and, it does. and color. And how great do they look in the window with the color coming through, the light coming through. Gorgeous. And the whole collection, it would be wonderful just to collect them and display them the way you have. Well, you can't see it right now, but we're going to take you on a tour in just a moment. But we're sitting on some fabulous stools here, and they're they're carved out of wood. Mm -hmm. And they're, there's no back to them, but oddly enough, they're very comfortable. They're very comfy. And they don't take up a lot of room if you've mm -hmm. got a small kitchen right. with the bar and you want to just kind of, you know, shove them up there. You don't have the big backs to them. That's true. I love them. They're good. They're really good. It's very good. comfortable. And again, if you take a look around this room, which we will let you do that, uh, you're going to see an array of fabrics, a lot of cozy types of pillows and different displays of artwork and, and things that look like they've come directly from Mexico, perhaps. Mm -hmm, and right. Things uh, of that nature. India. Yeah. And uh, there's just a, a lot of different influences here. I notice also one of the lamps over there. Is that one of those that's related to the other lamps? Yes, it the, is. That would, be a, that would be a, a little brother. A little brother, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. A little brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, um, we have a real nice treat in store for you before we take you to the holiday season of Christmas. We're going to take you on a wonderful musical journey throughout Art and Soul. So do stay with us. We'll be right back as we do this. Please enjoy it.
the song Isn't It Romantic is playing in the background, but wasn't that a romantic tour that Phil just took you on with that camera? I mean, it's just a beautiful world in here. It's so calming. Thank you for this experience. And as we walked in today, we noticed that it's Christmas at Art and Soul. The display is complete and it's in its glory and Rudolph never looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Would he be cute sitting inside a Christmas tree? Absolutely. Yeah, well very tell me cute. a little bit about your Christmas decorations we, here. They're we very different. always just pick the most fabulous Christmas ornaments and, and nothing is really the same. Everything is different. We've got whimsy, we've got of course for the saints Absolutely. lovers, we've got just elegant, um, fun. What's more fun than a Santa? Look oh, at that. Isn't that it's just, yeah, it's precious. And don't just, forget the partridge in the pear tree. Oh, here. isn't that wonderful? And Beautiful. this gorgeous thing behind you. She's uh, she's a ballerina, isn't she? Well, I think it's <laughs> she's just a Christmas tree. But, uh, <laughs> Sheila was saying that uh, that would be what she wants to have as just a Christmas tree. Oh, instead yeah. of having the that Christmas tree right. at all. Just have that instead of a Christmas hey, tree. Hey, you know what? And that cuts there, back on all the stress. There are there are certain times in your life where you want to have something a little bit more minimalistic. Aren't those pretty? Well, this is just beautiful. When you walk in here, there are little baskets filled with all kinds of goodies. Uh, they look edible, but they're not. <laughs> but they look so radiantly bright, and I'm sure they are on Christmas morning. It would make any tree just look unbelievable. Gorgeous in the lights. Absolutely. Look at the iridescent That is dragonfly. fabulous. Dragonflies are so popular. Well, you know, it reminds me of Gail Clark, the local artist mm -hmm. here who does She's jewelry. She's fabulous. And that is Isn't absolutely it wonderful. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen one like that it, for a Christmas and then we've, tree. Uh, we've always, we always have some kind of dragonfly every year, and this year this is just fabulous. Well, I've been told the dragonfly is a symbol of long life. And it's also uh, some a good luck, good, good luck, luck symbol too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a world of Christmas that has been created by Sheila and Tori here at Art and Soul. Do yourself a favor and come in and take a look. There's a whole shelf just filled with little Christmas trees I see over there and reindeer. So apparently there's a trend with that, you know. The reindeer, the, rain, are in. the reindeer, the reindeer, the reindeer definitely can't pass in. up a reindeer. <laughs> but I also noticed what you've done and how you've decorated this tree. It's a sparsely branched tree. It's hardly no lights. No there lights. are no lights on this tree. The lights are the glitter of the of the mm -hmm, ornaments. Mm -hmm. So it's quite remarkable. Wow. We'd love to see your house at Christmas, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> this is your house, really. <laughs> we'll yeah. Get right down to it. Well, you need to come to Art and Soul, and you need to experience Christmas and the other seasons of the year right here at, on Government Street with Tori and Sheila. And if you want your home decorated, don't forget, they offer that service to you absolutely free. All right, so we're going to be back with more Artbeat right after this. What a lovely way to end the work day. I'm, here I am curled up in a beautiful leather chair, tucked away with an afghan right from Art and Soul and it's just a remarkable experience. You too can feel this sense of relaxation, uplifted and inspired as we promised you in the beginning when you come right here and visit them on Government Street in Ocean Springs. This has been Artbeat, we're so happy you joined us. If you have any ideas at all about what you'd like to see here, please email us at wkfk.com and we'll put your favorite artist right here on television. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.